on point tonight. It turns out Elon Musk buying Twitter might actually save humanity. Well, not really, but it could at least rid us of Twitter, which is a nice start. And since Twitter is perhaps the entity most responsible for the terrible state of American political conversation, please, Elon, bring it on. The New York Times reports Elon Musk has, quote, no idea what he's doing at Twitter. Their well-researched story lays out a damning case. The reporting shows running Twitter the way Kevin McAllister lived in Home Alone 2. Remember the time at the Plaza Hotel when Kevin orders room service and everything else? All Kevin ever did was, was run up a room service tab at the Plaza Hotel. There. Except Musk paid $44 billion for the right to run Twitter. He fired people, then had to unfire them, lost advertisers by the dozens, may have problems with the Federal Trade Commission. It is a mess. And the New York Times, with some well-sourced reporting, lays out a situation where he's managing by creating a bizarre culture of fear and changing decisions daily. Fine. He paid $44 billion for the right to do it. Go forth. Twitter is the cesspool of political conversation. But the media, political and financial elite of America all use it because that's where they all talk to each other. For those who do not understand Twitter, imagine Twitter like all the bullies in high school locked into the sandbox together and then they just continue to fight, which in a way is wonderful because then they would fight with themselves and not bother all of us. The problem is the bullies are the ones controlling our lives. That's Twitter. So please forgive us, and obviously we hold nothing against the employees of Twitter who will lose their jobs, but please, Elon, run Twitter into the ground and destroy it. The Times reports he might actually bankrupt the site. Twitter makes money through advertisers, and right now there are no advertisers. The Times quotes Musk is saying on an internal call, and there's a quote here, uh, there is a massive negative cash flow and bankruptcy is not out of the question. Fantastic. Musk is now offering verification for $8 a month to try to make money. Originally, Twitter verified accounts to tell people that they were real. The at POTUS, President of the United States account, is actually controlled by the White House. The at Leland Vittert account is actually me. Yes, there were a lot of Twitter mentions about me today. I see them all. The at Oreos account, my favorite account, by the way, is run by the company that owns Oreos. You get it. Well, as soon as you could pay for a blue check mark, the internet did its thing. Eli Lilly, for example, didn't tweet, we are excited to announce insulin is free, but it had a blue check mark. The stock tanked and cost shareholders $20 billion in one day. George W. Bush tweeted, I miss killing Iraqis. George W. Bush with a blue check mark. No, he didn't. Evidently, LeBron James is asking for a trade. It has the check mark, must be LeBron James. No, he isn't. It's all kind of funny till a company's stock tanks or people get hurt. Wait till someone verifies a fake police department and puts out fake mug shots of wanted child molesters. I could go on and on with the way this is really bad, but you get the idea. It's going to get dangerous quickly. Musk tweeted he was buying Twitter because it is important to the future of civilization to have a common digital town square where a wide range of beliefs can be debated in a healthy manner without resorting to violence. I did it he so humbly says, to help humanity whom I love. Uh-huh. So far, it's not working out so well for either Elon or humanity. And to be fair, Twitter before Elon wasn't much better. The bankruptcy of Twitter and its spontaneous combustion is unlikely, but possible. We can all pray. We can hope. But what if the financial destruction of Twitter could bring about the destruction of Elon Musk and banish him too? That might be asking too much, but we can all hope. That's on point tonight. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.